What's that? Lemongrass. Cool. I wish there was some sort of nose feature. You mean smell a vision nose feature? <laughs> There's a term for it. <laughs> you can, then you can smell how delicious it is. So we're doing lemongrass chicken today. Lemongrass is an ingredient that is often used in Vietnamese cooking and in Malaysia cooking or Malaysian cooking. Um, it's very fragrant. It smells like lemon. And the sad part about lemongrass is you have to buy these long stalks. And actually, there's even more to the packaging. They'll give you the whole stock, but you're only going to use that much of it because the rest of it is too tough to use. So I am going to slice off just a little bit off the bottom. You can see that it's white and this is the, the part that is really fragrant that you want to use in your cooking. And you only want to use maybe up to here. And even I'm pushing it, I think. I'm just gonna cut it into a smaller piece and put it in my Vitamix. And we're gonna blend up the marinade for the chicken. It's actually, it's really hard. So you're gonna need a sharp knife to get through it. I'm also going to use six cloves of garlic. I find this is the easiest way to peel garlic. Except when they're little like this. What's that all about? I would normally put in about a thumb piece of, a thumb sized piece of ginger, but I don't have any ginger. So I'm just using ground ginger. I'm just using a teaspoon of ginger. A quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm going to use three tablespoons of soy sauce, five tablespoons of cooking sherry, and five tablespoons of fish sauce. Securing the lid, and we're just going to pulverize this. And if you don't have a Vitamix or a blender, you can always use a food processor. And if you don't have one of those, you can just chop every all the ingredients up by hand, which will take forever, So, which is why I'm using the Vitamix. I have about three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Oh, it smells so good. And we're going to let this marinate in the fridge for at least 30 minutes and you can marinate it overnight if you want get it done the day before and it'll be really flavorful and then afterwards we're going to put it under the broiler but you're also um, you can also put it on the barbecue which we're not doing today but that would definitely give it a smoky flavor and that's it pretty easy right Okay, see you in a little bit. I've had the chicken marinating now for about an hour and a half, and I've lined a baking sheet with parchment paper, and that's just my um, preference because I don't like, I like easy cleanup. So parchment paper works well. However, if you're going to use parchment paper with a baking sheet, you have to make sure that the paper is not sticking up on the edges because it could catch fire. So it's probably not the safest thing to do, but you can also use aluminum foil or um, give your pan a spray so that the chicken doesn't stick. But Flo likes to live on the but edge, so <laughs> you know, let that parchment paper curl up and light it up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna line up my chicken. Along. We're going to broil them about four inches from the broiler and we're going to broil for eight minutes per side. See you again. Eight minutes per side. I turn them over. 
paper and pop them in for another eight minutes or until it's cooked through, depending on how hot your boiler is. All right, so that was eight minutes on one side, 10 minutes on the other. I'm just cutting, oh, look at how juicy that is. Completely cooked through. Looks delicious. And I'm serving it with rice, and that recipe you can find up in the top corner here. There. And I'm also serving it with um, watercress, and that's just an Asian thing. Watercress. It's not watercress. Watercress, you're right. <laughs> if you like the video, please click like, and if you don't already subscribe, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.